Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I know I'm three and a half hours away from game one of the Stanley Cup final, but um, breaking news for the Flyers, if it's, tr if it's true, it says that the Flyers hire hired John Tortorella. Um, I don't mind the, the hiring, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it was either him or Trotz, and obviously Trotz may have chosen somewhere else. Um, Cassidy went to Vegas, uh, so I honestly, like, Peter DeBoer wasn't even on the radar. Fuck that dude. Um, he, Peter DeBoer reminds me of David Haxtell. He's nothing more than a lifeless boar. Um, who else was there? Rick Tockett, he's not ready. He's not ready at all. <clears throat> uh, Jim Montgomery, I don't think he was going to leave St. Louis to begin with, so... Um, I'm very happy if this is true. John Tortorella is a new Flyers head coach. Now, for all the, the Flyer fans out there who, oh my god, he's going to chase away talent. First of all, if the talent's actually producing already, like Sandheim, I'll just use Sandheim as an example because he's, like, you saw Sandheim take the next step. Like, there's no, there's no like, problem there. Like, Provorov... He has to step up. Pro like players like Provorov, Konechny, JVR, like those players. Lindblom. Lindblom needs to step the fuck up. I think Scott Lowen's gonna thrive under Tor Tortorella. He's gonna thrive. Cam Atkinson has already thrived underneath him. Same with Kevin Hayes. I'm not really worried about them. Couturier. I mean, he could he could use some like, criticism. Everybody can use some criticism on this fucking team, for God's sake. Like, this is what was missing when Giroux was here. We had no one that held anyone accountable. Every all the players just, eh, it's it's okay. We're losing. It's okay. Like there was no accountability on the bench. No one held players accountable. Now we have that, and now the Flyer fans are up in arms. Oh, here we go. This is it. oh. Time to trade this guy and that guy. Well, good fucking riddance. Like, honestly. Like, I'm tired of fucking... Like, the players get a pass for some reason when it comes to Flyer fans. and But Fletcher's not going to get a pass. Like, what? The coach doesn't get a, a pass. Or, coach gets a pass. And the, and the players get a pass. It's always on Fletcher. Like, what, Fletcher's actually trying to get things done again. He brought in Ryan Ellis, yeah, it didn't work out, but he's coming back. So, uh, JVR, he needs to hit hit the road because he's a garbage. And if it's like if you're able to, you know, upgrade from JVR, please do it. By all means, if JVR turns turns into like like if we were to like buy him out and we bring in Johnny Hockey. Who's gonna choose Johnny? Who's gonna choose JVR over Johnny Hockey? Who's gonna Who's gonna do that? Because I would like to smack you in the face. Same with Konechny. Konechny, I heard I've been hearing that you're gonna get traded for William Nylander. Uh, first of all, I would I would do that trade in a fucking heartbeat. Don't care. I mean, why would you like Konechny's 25? Yeah, he's still young, but five more years, he's gonna be 30 years old, and he hasn't done anything. He's just spinning the tires. It's like Oscar Lindblom. He's spinning the tires too. At least when at least Lawton, like I'm not the biggest fan of Scott Lawton, but at least when he plays you, I notice him. Sandheim plays you, notice Sandheim. Risto plays, you know Risto's around. Provorov, he needs to step up. Ellis is going to have to step up and stay healthy. Hayes is going to have to stay healthy. Katoria is going to have to stay healthy. Atkinson, I mean, he already had his, you know, his, his best seasons with Tortorella. I think Hayes did as well. So, like, Flyer fans who say, oh, there goes the team. The team, we never had a team. If you're really going to think about it, we never had a team. The last time we had a team was during a bubble. So, I just, uh, I don't get it. I love the hire. Finally, a coach that holds players accountable. That's what the Flyers always needed. 
Tortorella is a loose cannon most times anyway, but, you know, oh well. Tough shit, honestly. Um, I mean, the guy won a cup with the Lightning like, in 04. I know it was a while ago, but he still did it. He took Columbus and swept Tampa Bay in 2019. So, I mean, I just, I don't understand the, the I guess it's because Fletcher hired him. Because if it was Danny Breer, I'm pretty sure everybody would be all over his fucking knob. But if it's because it's Fletcher, everyone hates it. I, I don't really understand the hatred towards Fletcher. I really don't. Because the people you should be mad at is Hextall and Holmgren and Clark, for that matter. Because at those three... We have this issue. Fletcher came in, tried to get things done, wasn't able to. He did more in one offseason than Hextall did the entire time he was here as a GM. So, and uh, I noticed, you know, people make excuses for, you know, Hextall trading Braden Chen for Yuri Laterra and two first round picks. Morgan Frost really hasn't turned into anything yet. He took some steps forward last year, but, uh, not really, I mean, not really. He's still kind of scared to go to the dirty areas. Farabee, that's a plus. But, Braden Chen won a Stanley Cup, and he's still producing at top. So, it's kind of hard to, you know. But when, I mean, I think, I think, Hextall made the trade with Simmons to, for Hartman. That was perfect. I don't know why we didn't sign him. But, <clears throat> I mean, Simmons was on his last leg here anyway. So, uh, yeah. If you're like if you're just gonna blame solely on Fletcher, I don't know why you're even. I don't. I don't understand why. Like you should be blaming the other three GMs that we had. Clark, Holmgren are still part of the fucking organization. Hextall inherited a good Penguins team and they lost in the first round. So, what are you going to do? So we're still going to blame Fletcher for trying to get this team in the right direction, right? Still going to blame him. It's no one's fault but his, right? It's not Hextall, not Holmgren, not Clark. None of those guys had anything to do with what's happening now, right? Yeah. And then when Fletcher gets fired and Danny Briere takes over, and you see the same thing, it's going to be Fletcher's fault, not Danny Briere's fault, right? Just curious for Fly or my fellow Flyer fans, the hatred I want to understand of Fletcher. I really do, because... Half of the half of the time you that the fan base has no idea what the fuck they're talking. Well, actually, not half. Most of the time, the fan base has no idea what they're talking about. So, congratulations to John Tortorella. Please, please continue to hold players accountable. And a little bit later, it's game one time. Can't wait. Uh, Avalanche and Lightning. Can't wait for that. But have a good one, guys.